Good morning. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. The liturgy gives us the option of two gospel readings, either Luke or John. Luke's gospel describes an occasion when Jesus went to visit the house of Lazarus. There he encounters the two sisters, Mary and Martha. Martha is running around the house burdened with much serving. She complains to Jesus and asks him to tell her sister Mary to help her with the serving. Jesus responds, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. Martha gives the impression that Mary is just sitting there doing nothing. But in fact, she is listening to Jesus, listening to the Word of God. Many of us are very busy, running around and busying ourselves from dawn to dusk. But what are we busy about? What was Martha busy about? We need to stop and listen, as Mary did. Busyness is not a virtue. The important thing is to be active about the right things. And to know what is the right thing to do, we have to stop and listen. The alternate gospel is according to St. John and is the story of the raising of Lazarus from the dead. Jesus had been told about Lazarus being deathly ill, but did not arrive in Bethany for several more days. By the time Jesus got to the house, Lazarus had died. Martha ran to him and said if he had been there, Lazarus wouldn't have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Your brother will rise, Jesus said to her. Yes, replied Martha, expressing her faith in a future life. I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. And so speaking, she draws from Jesus one of the great sayings of John's Gospel. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? In other words, those who believe in Jesus as Lord and follow his way immediately enter a life that will never end, although the body, of course, will pass away. This in turn draws a great profession of faith from Martha. Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. It is a statement on par with that of Peter at Caesarea Philippi earlier on. These two gospel passages should give us hope in the Lord Jesus. Do I believe like Martha? Do I sit in quiet listening to the Lord speak to me like Mary? Do I run to the Lord as did Martha in time of distress? something to ponder for the day. Amen.